You don't know how long I have searched to find out how to stream more than one console at one time without buying an additional capture card. But when my wife found this little box, this simple box, we now can stream more than one console at one time. What is up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dusty, one half of Our Radiant Gaming, and this is the Porta 4-in-1 HDMI switcher. This basically is a box that lets you plug four HDMIs into the back of it to stream more than one consoles at one time. And before we get started, the link for this exact one is in the description below. So if you already know how it works and you wanna just purchase it, you can definitely do that. Just look in the description below. But for those of you who don't know how it works and wanna find out, let's go ahead and get started. So when you're streaming games on Twitch, on YouTube, whatever you're wanting to stream on, you know that you have to have a capture card. What you also know is these capture cards can be expensive. So on the front of this switcher you'll notice there is an on and off switch, also five lights labeled power and then one through four. There's also an IR light, a service plug-in, and then five buttons that are labeled mode one, mode two, mode three, audio, and then 720 and 1080p. On the sides, there is nothing at all, but on the back, you'll notice there is five HDMI ports. The first one, input four, three, two, one, and then an output HDMI port. Also a stereo jack, and then a plug-in for a DC 12 volt. And basically, all you're gonna have to worry about is the on and off switch and then the button switchers, along with obviously the HDMI ports and the power adapter. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too complicated. So before you use this, you're gonna wanna make sure you have it plugged into power. And if you're like me, you're gonna have to dig through the jungle of your cords to plug it in. After you have it plugged into power, leave it off and then take a simple HDMI cord, plug it into the output slot, take the other end of the HDMI cord and then plug it into your capture card. Then after that, you're gonna take whatever systems you are wanting to stream at the same time, run an HDMI cord from them into to the HDMI one through four slots on the HDMI switcher. For me, I'm usually just using two Nintendo switches. Once you have all of those plugged in, turn the on switch to on, obviously. Once it is turned on, just use your capture card the same way you would if you were only streaming one game. In whatever streaming service you are using, like Streamlabs, OBS, I personally use Streamlabs, just whatever you're using, use your capture card the same way you always would. But what you're gonna notice is things are gonna look a little different, and you'll see that there are four channels. This is because the switcher can handle four systems at one time. And you can actually go through multiple views on this switcher to see the way they all look. If you click mode one, it'll give you all sorts of wonky looking scenes. Mode two will let you switch between each scene. So if you're just wanting to stream one game at one time or just casually play one game. Mode three gives you also more wonky scenes. A lot of these are made for security cameras. So I personally don't ever really take it off. Of course, where it plays one game at one time or where it shows every game in perfect aspect at one time. And you can mess around with it to see which way it looks looks best for your stream. For my wife and I, we literally just leave it up to where it shows all four games at one time in perfect aspect ratio. And then we crop the bottom two games off and leave it like that. Of course, with some outline boxes around it. But if you don't like them just sitting side by side like that on your stream layout, you can actually add two capture card sources, crop them to where it just shows one game and then move them wherever you want. And then boom, you can literally stream two games, make it look as good as you want to match your stream layout. Also, one important thing to know is that whenever you are using this HDMI switcher, it does only take audio from one source. Of course, if you played all four sources or even just two sources at the same time, it would literally sound like a dumpster fire. But using the audio switcher button, you can actually tell which audio you want to use by a little music note symbol beside of the channel name. Personally, for my wife and I, whenever we are streaming two games at one time, we just turn the sound for the capture card completely off and then play royalty-free music in the background. And I know a lot of people do this as well. And again, guys, I have the link for this exact box in the description below. If you would like to pick it up for yourself, be sure to check out that link. My wife and I have loved being able to race each other on our stream through this HDMI switcher. And I've seen a lot of people actually use four systems at one time to shiny hunt. And that is incredible. I don't know how their brain works that way. It's awesome. And I love watching it. I don't know how they do it though. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe so you don't miss another video. This is one half of Our Radiant Gaming signing off. Everyone have an awesome day and God bless.